This would only be the first in a series of life-threatening trials for Duclou as he set sail from France, headed for the Caribbean. But to Duclou, his life was of secondary importance to the health on his treasured plant. As he recounted in his journal, a fellow passenger, jealous of Duclou's plant, attempted to purchase it from him. After Duclou refused, the villain nearly tore the plant in half, trying to wrestle it from Duclou's grasp. Later on his voyage, a Tunisian pirate ship attacked and attempted to capture his vessel and his precious cargo. After a fierce showdown with the pirates, Duclou's ship narrowly escaped, and Duclou, and more importantly, the plant, were safe. Next, the ship encountered a violent storm, rocking the boat wildly in its wake, and threatening to send the ship, Duclou, and his plant to the bottom of the ocean. The storm passed, and once again, Duclou and his plant survived. The ship was left afloat, peaceful under a blazing sun. This calm, which seemed a relief at first, proved more sinister than any previous threat. Soon, water supplies grew short. Dying of thirst is one of the worst fates that can befall a man. Yet the clue was willing to risk it, giving his ration to the coffee plant. Growing weak from thirst and exhaustion, DeClou didn't know it at the time, but he and his plant would only need to endure a few more days. His desperate gamble paid off. The ship made it at last to Martinique, where, under constant guard, the plant grew fruitful and multiplied. Over the next 50 years, DeClou's coffee bush yielded a family of about 18 million other plants.